Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's video, I feel as though it's very relevant because something we get asked about so much are rugs. And rugs are like a personal decor passion of mine. I'm obsessed with them and they're very hard to find. Um, like good looking, affordable rugs that are neutral, that look expensive, look good, and don't break the bank because real, like vintage, rugs are so expensive and hard to find so i wanted to round up all of the rugs in our house show you guys all of my favorites pretty much all of them are under i think 300 dollars, which is insane for rugs and i feel like they're pretty good so i'm excited to show you guys all of them and i'll have all of them linked below in the description box you guys can shop them I'm gonna just talk through each one what i like about it um all that good stuff so if you're just stumbling across this video uh welcome to our channel i run this channel with my husband hunter we do vlogs home decor travel i do lots of beauty and fashion we do tons of different stuff here on this channel so feel free to subscribe and stick around and hang out with us be a part of the fam but without further ado let's hop in to the vid. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my entryway rug. Now, this rug I actually found at Home Goods, and Home Goods is a place that I check for a lot of rugs. I will literally just go in there whenever I get the chance and look anytime I'm there because it's very hit or miss. I found a few rugs in there during my Home Goods visits, and this one was one of them, and I really like like the kind of heavier knitted texture on it. I feel like it makes it look really expensive, but it was pretty affordable. But I have found a lot of really similar ones to this online, so I'll link them all below. And I spend hours looking for rug links, you guys. Like, it's, I don't know why, it's like an obsession of mine, so I've found really good ones. Moving to rug number two, which is in our dining room. So this rug I used to have in my living room, and this is probably my favorite affordable neutral rug um, on the website it says it's a silver color but it's pretty much like a gray uh, kind of blue undertoned gray rug and to me this is the best like dupe for this really beautiful expensive rug from restoration hardware it looks pretty much just like it it's super thin it you can't really tell that it was really as affordable as it was so i put a rug pad underneath but it's basically for, this is I think a nine by 12, which is really big. It was like 300. So for rugs, that is really good. And I've just loved it. I haven't found it hard to keep clean. Um, the one thing vacuuming on it, like you have to use um, kind of a heavier duty vacuum, like a bigger one, not like a handheld. And it kind of is weird to vacuum, but you still can get it. It just kind of suctions to it a little bit. But other than that, I've just loved the neutral colors of it, the pattern. It's not like too loud, it just kind of blends in and lets like all the furniture stand out. So I think this would also like look really pretty layered over a jute rug, like a tan jute rug, if you want to get a smaller size and layer it. But great, just like staple rug that goes in pretty much any room because of how neutral it is and i've seen a lot of you guys purchase this one and it's it's awesome it's such a good rug next is our living room rug which is probably the biggest rug that we actually have in the house and i went into the restoration hardware boutique and they had this sort of jute style woven white rug um almost in like every area of the boutique and i was like oh i just love that but it was so expensive so i was like i know i can find a dupe for this found one online this is i think a 12 by 15 which is so big and i think this is like 350 dollars. so that's honestly unheard of and i've had some jute rugs that shed this one does not shed i've had literally no issues with it other than the fact that it is white so when my dog comes in the house with muddy paws you know i have to be a little bit a care little bit careful about that those types of things but other than that i have loved it i love that it's white we have super um dark floors we did not pick the floors in this house we just like moved into this house already built so i feel like the white rug was necessary against the dark floors or else i maybe would have done like a tan i don't know i just think this is a staple and my plan was to eventually um get a vintage rug that was really beautiful maybe a little bit smaller and layer it on top but i was like i know i'm never going to be able to find a 12 by 15 rug that i can afford that it's going to be the size that i need 
and everything so i was like this is the perfect large rug to put as a base and then i could layer something on top of it if i wanted but right now it just is the plain white jute and it's so perfect rug is in our casual dining area and this is another one of my favorite finds probably the most affordable rug in the house and so many of you guys have purchased this so this is like my hundred dollar rug and it's my favorite color which is beige it's beige and white and this rug to me most of the time i've bought some really cheap rugs like eighty dollars uh you know 75 and they literally look so bad but this one looks expensive i don't know what it is but it just looks really good and it is so cheap so it's crazy um i think this size is an 8x10 and it's perfect because Again, I needed a really neutral rug in here um, that is just kind of a soft pattern, not too loud. I love the pattern of it. It kind of has a vintage feel and it's just not too busy or anything. It's just that perfect kind of balance and I love the color. This area, I also wanted like a definitely a more affordable style because this is our eating area where we do all of our eating for the most part um and the dog also comes in and out of this door right here which is right off of this eating area so i'm glad that we didn't like spend a ton of money on a really nice one because there's so much traffic there and it's so highly used something that i know i didn't spend like a ton of money on and i could replace if it needed to be but actually it's been here for like a year and it has kept up really well i just vacuum it every day it vacuums so easily it's a great rug it's just a gem next rug is another home goods find and this one is in my office now this might be my best home goods find to date i love this rug so much when i walked into home goods i literally ran over to it i knew right away i was like that is the most perfect rug it's the rug of my dreams and um i was able to track down the style number and everything and find it online and originally it was like four thousand dollars and i think i paid like uh eight or seven hundred for it so that's definitely not very affordable but i it was like i was so in love with it and i knew that it looked really good and it looked super high-end but i was getting a deal so i splurged but i get probably the most questions about this rug so i have looked for days and hours for very similar ones online and i have found some really good affordable that look really similar so i'll have those all rounded up down below in the description box the next rug is our kitchen runner and this one is by magnolia home um joanna Gaines. we all know fixer upper and i got this guy um i think it's on bedbathandbeyond.com but i love again the muted colors i actually really like the pattern i feel like it looks kind of like a turkish vintage rug but it's not and it's definitely more affordable so this is the eight foot i think and has a little bit of color it's probably more color than any of the rugs in the house but it's super cute um great staple runner for any hallway any kitchen it's really nice and vacuums easily. It's I've had this one for three years now and it's held up really well. And last rug in the house is the one in our bedroom. And this one was definitely um, a little bit more money. So but we saw this rug and we knew it was really neutral at the time. Um, and it had a little bit of like silver flex in it, which I really liked. It kind of had like browns and beiges in it. It was like an off white and the pile, I guess, which is like the thickness is a little bit thicker. So you definitely see that it's a little bit nicer, um, feels a little bit more heavy duty. And I think this would look so pretty on hardwood. I hate that we have carpet in our bedroom, so you can't like let it shine, um, against like the gray carpeting. I just, the metallic gives like, I don't know it's very uh me it's like a little bit of like a moroccan kind of bohemian touch just barely i don't know why i just think that about the silver but i just really like that little accent in it so definitely a little pricier but this is the rug that we had in our bedroom which is such a focal point we um splurged a little bit on this one the very last rug is in hunter's office and this one is actually from urban outfitters very cute just like plain white off-white um little woven rug and it's really cute comes in a couple of different sizes i think and really simple if you just need like straight up 
white rug really nice texture it's kind of softer and yeah it's super cute those are literally all of the rugs in our house so a lot most of them are really affordable and I know they're really hard to find so it's nice to see rugs like in person with your eyeballs what they look like not on the website because they're so hard to like tell what they look like um, so I hope this helped you guys maybe find some rugs for your house again I'll round up a bunch of the other rugs that I love below I'm always like saving links and stuff so I found some other really good options and I hope you guys enjoyed we have tons of like house tour videos below if you want to see all the decor of like our living room our kitchen our bedroom all that good stuff and we will see you guys soon